The voting wasn't even close. Next to no one wanted us to go to the Bulls. Nathan had a few fans that wanted us to move to Australia and play for Melbourne. But more than anything, overwhelmingly popular decision was to do this and go nowhere next season. That's right, Nathan Nichols will remain a Western Province player in the Curry Cup for season number two. It doesn't happen very often, but today, that is the deal. But hold on to the phone here, team. Before we even start today's episode, processing through into the new season, the Euro Nation selectors have picked us to be part of the starting lineup in the upcoming Euro Nations competition. You know what? It's only been one season, and already the Red Rose is calling Nathan Nichols England. The relationship has come together again. Yes, I accept. And here we go. England wants us. Let's get into season two. a small matter of the Curry Cup pre-season friendlies to get underway and I tell you what team there is a lot that has changed in this Western Province team this season. Take a look at what we have got on our team now this season. A few of the players are still loading in because there is some new faces and some new names in this lineup. Now we can see first things first, we are taking on Greekwis in this pre-season friendly. We've got a couple of those before we get into the season proper and for some reason none of our players are loading up but who really cares? The big talking point will start at the back because that is the massive, massive talking point in this team. There is no more Sean Luke. He's gone, which is a massive, massive concern of mine because now we have the Argentinian, Ricardo Martinez, in the team in the number 15 jumper. The back line, though, looks absolutely stacked. Hello, Sir Joel Peterson. Hello, Jesse Creel. Hello again, Dylan Lades. He's moved in now to inside centre at 12. Sinatla's still there. Nichols is still there. And we've got a new man inside in the number nine jumper in Golden Miss Simula. No, 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 let's get that right. Miss Simla. Miss Simla. Golden Miss Simla. He is going to be wearing the number nine. That means there is no more DeWitt. Now, I'll tell you what, Jean Luc is still in the team, but DeWitt, he is gone. He is completely out. So we've made some big transfers, changes around in the four pack as well. Whoa, hey, we've got Khaleesi's face. He is swapped with the toy. Okay, Khaleesi's the only player that's actually loading in this. We also have a new man in the second row, Ernst Van Roon. He is coming in to accompany Chris Van Zell in the second row. The front row remains the same. Wilco Lowe, Scar and Dabini, and Alistair Vermark in the loose seat. Number one shirt this season. Whether we will stick with this when the season starts proper, we'll find out. This is pre-season friendly. No one's got their face. Hopefully, we'll get that fixed up by game number two. But at least we know one man is going to be there full of face. That is Sarkalisi. And, of course, Nathan Nichols wearing that number 10 yet again. Let's get into it first game of the season. We've stayed with Province, and we are hopefully going to be in international as well this season. So let's get stuck into it and see when that comes about. The preseason is first, and as you can see, by the bench as well. We've got Ruan now. He's still there as well. Schickling is in there as uh, the uh, back row replacement. Well, the second row replacement it would be, actually. And we've also got Christian Liliafano. Ruan now is still in there as well. We'll probably see him later on this season because I imagine Jesse Creel will go away for international duty, as will we. But to tell you what, no Jean-Luc. Who am I going to blame now for our stuff-ups? Jean-Luc is gone on the bench, eh? Not even on the bench. He's completely in the reserves. Unbelievable. What an off-season Western Province have had. Now here we go. Underway. Nathan Nichols, of course, wearing the 10 yet again. <laughs> As this is our first look at season number two. And we have objectives to do. We've got to, firstly, we've got to get some kicking meters in. I'm glad we've actually found some space there. That's a terrible kick. Half charge down. We get a few meters on it. And look at this coming away. It's a nice little run for Greekwis. It's a pick and go on the short side. Should have done better with that position. There we had Nichols get in there. Now Nichols get out. We've got to get our objectives. One of them you saw is the kicking meters. Of course, line breaks, and we've got Release. drop goals in there as well. 
Which, I mean, we're going to have to be doing pretty hard to get that drop goal on our side. That is a great tackle. Stopping the offloads. There's another good one. Nathan coming across. But well, we've actually turned it over. We've gone for the kick. There you go. That's what we get for spamming. And that turnover one has been dropped. It's spilt. He's in touch. It's a turnover again. Ball is back to Western Province. I tell you what, we've been shaky, but um, we've got the ball. Nice little crowd on the banks there as well, supporting Grecus, the home team for tonight's matchup or today's matchup. Win that, we lost it. That is shocking. Losing your own line out. Come on, team. Go wide very quickly. That's knocked on. Let's cover that through. Okay, we've picked that up nicely. Let's win it now from the short side. Where are you going, man? Come this side. Yes, big chance. Great offload. And it's going to be the only chance. Is it it's a Peterson? I think it is. Sergio will have to double check. But it looked like number 14, Sergio Peterson. First try in a Western Province shirt this season goes to the right winger. Sergio Peterson, Jesse Creeley turned the direction and the offload from Nathan Nichols was that finishing touch we needed in the corner. Great start to our preseason. That was actually Peterson at the bottom of that breakdown as well. He just got up and coming across. Beautiful work from Sergio Peterson. Well, we're off to a flyer. And already you can see we look like we have something about us this season looking to go back to back. And Dylan Lades is the man with the kicking boots on this season as well. Oh my goodness me, that is a shocker. Well, we ain't going to win anything with kicks with him doing the tee. That's for sure. Well, it's only been a matter of 13 minutes already. The defending champions, Western Province, have got themselves on the board. It is through the hands of Nathan Nichols that does it as we get back underway. And to the left hand side of the charge for Nathan to break away. We see there we've got a couple of extra running meters, which is always nice to get on the tally. Let's see if we can get the rest of those objectives fulfilled. It's a good little pass back inside the offload to Nathan is a little bit tame as is the express pace that no one in that breakdown and a chance now for Greekwitz down their right hand edge they pick it up again good defense so far Nathan take the bow oh ho ho the defensive work of Nathan Nichols coming to the fore not something we see too often but that was a good showing right there from Mr. Nathan Nichols Oh, the future English player as well. How exciting is that to start a new season and to get the call up? Here we go. Province of the ball. Nathan takes on the line. Shows a little bit of the shimmy before offloading into Dylan Lanes that finds the grass first. It's a pick and go from Golden. He slips it nicely and beautifully to a charging Van Ruin. Now there's some room left inside. Switch it to me now. Go on, Nathan. He's away. Down the left hand edge. The chase is coming in, but it's too slow. Dylan Lanes is the first man there. Nathan grabs his first try of the season. It's only pre-season, but already he's sparking alone. Only try for Nathan Nichols. Great burst there from the big second rower. And a pick and go went to the right. Cut back. Nathan called for it. Give it back, he said. Come this side. There's too much room. And he scampers away all by himself. Dylan Lays, the only man to even get close to a rampaging Nathan Nichols. Cuts around the outside. Slow defenders there. And once he was gone, the fullback, well, was nowhere to be found either. Surprising. Dylan Lanes, though, he's right there. It's nice having a pacey inside centre. That support line that he may find himself in off the shoulder of Nathan could be quite handy this season. Here is Lanes. Oh, he's got one. Good work, Dylan. Can't quite abuse you like we could with good old Jean-Luc. But alas, your goal kicking will be very heavily scrutinized. That is for sure, Dylan. 
Here we go again. Back underway. Greenquist kicking deep this time. Down to Nathan in the 22. He drops it off short. And Augustus has a bit of a run. The number eight gets us just a whisker outside the 22. I'd like to kick this away, please, if you could. No, just uh, whatever then. Run yourself. See, that's fine. Don't worry. I'll do your job and secure the ball for you instead. Now we get it back. And really, we're not in a position to do that at all. I've got kicking minutes to do here, guys. Give me the ball in a good spot. Another pick and go, though. This time, it's a fit. Beautifully out wide. Sit out. It's gone. See you later. Goodbye. Good night. Shut the gate. No farm animals getting out of this one. Sim Atlas all alone. And he's gone all by himself. Well, that's what we bring. We bring pace on the outside edges. Pace through the middle of the park. We've got Dylan Lake. We've got, of course, Sim And then, of course, on the other wing is Peterson. We have big game players that score individual X Factor brilliance as well. There goes Sim Atlas. Give him the ball out wide. He's gone. I think that was Martinez that was actually on our shoulder there as well. Was that the 15? Was that our first glimpse of Ricardo Martinez? Oh, I'd love to see more of him. Shame he's not doing the goal kicking. I mean, he looks Argentinian, doesn't he? He doesn't look quite... You know, he's got that South American flair look about him. That's a really desperate way to describe it. It's back to Dylan Lane, though. And can you get this one, Dylan? It's a little bit tougher than Nathan's one. Oh, Dylan! Thanks for coming. That's 19 points to nil. One unsuccessful kick from Dylan Lates. And now three tries so far as we make our way to halftime. It is pre-season here on Season 2. The defending Curry Cup champions, Nathan Nichols and Western Province are getting themselves back in the groove for a new season. Signings have been made. Call-ups have been made. And we have another championship glory to get. Nathan's going to look a scamper and a, another kick half pass and he charges it. What was this way downfield? Picked up from Peterson. Leon floats there as well. Trail and support. Brilliant work for Province. Now we're on the front foot. Now we're on the attack. Nathan straightens up. Ball floats back across field. And no one really was in position for that one. We struggle our way back with it. Short side. Dummying. Augustus, another go. Number eight. Release. Greek was getting told off by the referee. Is Nathan into hole? He's gone. Oh, straight through. Beautiful line. And the acceleration was just enough to get the job done in the stroke of half time. Nathan gets try number two. And Western Province extend their lead. Oh, I saw that gap. And as soon as we received that ball, I knew he was gone. Caught it a bit premature, maybe. Bang! He's throwing a lightning speed. Well, it's not 90 pace lightning, is it? It's about mid to high 70s. Another good run. Augustus has been strong here today for Province. Well, this ball, was it from Golden? It was. I love the name Golden. But Masimla is the man. But I think we'll just call him Golden. I quite like that. A lot of new names in this province team. And Nathan Nichols, one of the, well, half of the team returning this season. Along with this man, Dylan Lades, now with the goal-kicking duties. Makes no mistake about that. Over she goes. And it's province up 26 points to nil at the break. This is one way. Demolition job. There's Cooley. See, we've not seen his name all day. But he goes to the sheets at half time in front of some very joyful fans with their team in front. 26 points to a nil. Look at this position dominated by Province. But look at the territory back the other way. Greek was having all the fun on that one. But it doesn't matter for Province. Doesn't matter where we are on the field. We will score tries. We've made a few errors. But look at those line breaks. 5 to nil. It is absolutely clean cut. Domination from Province as they start off their preseason, well, in the best possible way. 26 point first half demolition of Greek was a team that, well, gave us a little bit of a match last season. Um, this season, though, doesn't look like the case, but still, early days. It's only preseason. A lot of water to still go under the bridge before we get the actual season underway. Back to the game we go. Dylan Lates kicking off. I'm waiting to his right, and we are 
Hopefully going to be doing those duties as well. Well taken out there on the right hand edge. Peterson has been an absolute pick up, that's for sure. Now here's the toy playing scrum half and a big bar straight in the middle. I think that's Khaleesi. Oh, a big high tackle. Oh, it's on the inside. The options were there for the pass. Oh, that could have been a magical try. Alas, we had the penalty though. Hopefully for the corner. No, we give it. No, I mean. That's, yeah, well, we're up by 26 points to nil. 44 minutes into the game. Let's have a shot at goal. And my goodness me, Dylan Lades, that's going next door. What a shocker of a kick. Fans better beware. Get the hard hats on behind the uprights. Or maybe beside the uprights, the way that one went. Kulisi marks. Right, I'll drop back here. No, well, I'm not going to get involved in this. Good take, though. Let's run it. Down the short side. Nice ball away. Peterson in the end. He's a danger man. I can't get up. It's so he's knocked it on. Oh, that's a real shame. Sergio Peterson, too quick. Too quick for me. And there's Martinez. Look at him. You just know he's Argentinian, don't you? Just look at his pretty little face. Peterson, though, absolutely menacing. Crouch. Fine. Tried to get support, but just couldn't get close enough. He was too Sit. quick. Really, just too quick. Bring this out the scrum. Set ourselves up right. I don't know where He's Martin needs right there. And the kick's gone straight over his head and into touch, okay? I'll take that. That's not a bad result, actually. Now we can attack from about 40 meters out. They're not too chuffed with their work, are they, Greek? They look pretty um, unhappy. I suppose you would be too if you were down 26 points to nil. To the defending champions of the Curry Cup. Right, let's win the line out of Dabini. Fire it straight out to me. Let's get it out there, Golden. Nice ball. Let's go out wide. Give a nice see. Who is it? 12. That's the legs. And out to Sanella. Eventually it'll go. And it's going to be another try. Well, goodness me, that was easy. Just come from nothing. Sanella grabs another one. Dylan Lades just fired it straight out to him. And why not? He got the wheels. Oh, Sinatla out there. Nathan took it up to the line. This was nice. The way to... No, it was Creel. Lades was left out on the outside. There was Dylan Lades. Unrequired. Just the pace. The sheer explosive pace. Oh, Sinatla was too good. We're in for the far right. To the left. And one, two, three passes. Yes, that's the experience of GC Creel. What a midfield we've got, by the way. Just soak the sin for preseason. Dylan Lades and Jesse Creel. That is phenomenal. Internationals all sure ruin that, though, as the season goes by. Dylan Lades, here's a toughie for you. My friend, you didn't get to score the try, but can you get the conversion? That's not bad. It's not bad. I can accept that, Dylan. If you get more like that, and not that absolute disaster of a first kick, we could get along just fine. Well, Greek was just well and truly under the pump here. 31 points to nil. Let's get back underway. I think I've still got to get a kicking me this time. Oh, I've forgotten. Been so involved in scoring tries that I've forgotten about my kicking meters. Maybe we should work on those. Kicking meters. Um, and yes, it's the back of the pocket here. Right, fire back to me, please. Here we go. Kicking meters. Oh, there's no one back as well. Thunder is straight down the middle of the park almost. And there is no one home. Kicking minutes complete. Here comes Dylan Lades. Look out. He's rapid. Oh, nice pass. Change of directions back on the inside. And they get a little bit of room. And they go on to touch. Eventually, the inside centre can't break away from that last tackler. Could have been a big chance there for Greek West, But maybe, given that, you've just got to take its contact. You've got to put it into the ground. You've got to go back. And you've got to clear your lines. Because now... Western Province, another line out, Intervening's the man, and we've lost it. Well, erase all thought of a cool attacking play as here come Greekwas, firing the ball out wide. We got some numbers, Bentley turned back on the inside. Lee has got work still on the pace race. He's gonna lose this one. He's quick, he's rapid. Where's Martinez? He's nowhere to be found. Try Greekwas. Well, doesn't matter if it's John Luke, it doesn't matter if it's Ricardo. When you're in a situation like that, there is no fallback. 
It was a great, well-worked move. I like that little turn back on the inside to the fullback, and he just scooted all the way. Nathan gave chase, but look at this. Just out and out speed by the Greek Chris fullback, which is far too hot for Nathan to handle. And this little change of direction, the switch, beautiful. Come inside, Peterson. Big gaping hole. Nichols covering across. Could not stop it. And it very well executed try. Greek was... If they could do that for 80 minutes, we would be in with quite a matchup. Juan Pablo Cousins. He was a try scorer and he will be the kicker as well. Number 15, the fullback for Greek was 62 gone. Hits it nicely. Oh, great kick from Cousins. Over it goes. And Greek was gets seven. That's a rarity. Well, Dylan, lessons to be learned. You should kick like that. We could be on to something if you did. Right. Work to be done, boys. We've conceded a try. Back underway we go. Lance kicks deep again and chases hard. Nathan misses the tackle. Oh, it's all the shambles now. Get yourself set up, right? Something I don't do too often. Big ball out wide. Another chance for Greek. Mr. Kello in this pace race. It's out there. Nahu Sinala. Full over that. Good support play on the inside, though. It's about six on one. And the pass is forward. Can you believe it? It was just about a second try. Crouch. Greek was a nice Find. flowing play as well. Set. Change the directions again. I just couldn't quite get the pass backwards. Straight to Nathan. Or, okay, okay. A bit delayed on that one. And now we've done a forward pass. Khaleesi. That was a mess. That was an utter Crouch. mess. One that Find. just straight to me. I would have, I Set. don't know, done something special. That's what I do. I'm Nathan Nichols. Damn it, that's what I do. All right, Griffiths, what do you got? Nothing really there. They fire it out wide again. They've got their numbers on this right-hand defensive edge. Oh, Nathan, take no prisoners this time. Pummels him into touch. Oh, eats him for breakfast, lunch and dinner. 72 gone. And to be near again. Win this one, boys. Full line out. Taking our time. To the middle. We've lost it. We've lost another one. We're just brilliant. Just brilliant. It's a little bit ago. Nathan puts on the head. Yes, and he's knocked it on. It's full back to province. And we will run it back. This is nice. It's roomy on the right if you want to give it to me. Advantage over. It's all. It's a sense. It's a good run from that run. But just could not finish that pass. Time is almost up. 31-7. It's been all Western Province a dominating performance. Can we hold Griefus out? I'll keep this channel here. I'll just stay close to the ruck. Just get out of my way. Oh, didn't even see that one pop out. Good tackling. Good defense. I'll hold here. Goes back. They go a bit of depth this time. Do Griefus. They fire it out wide. They find a hole. Good defense, though. Just shutting it down. Release. Looked like that was Detroit. More for Griefus. Taking off the back. Nathan making another big tackle. The offloads coming well at the moment for Griefus. I've got this channel. I've got the narrow channel. I'm the smallest man, but I've got the biggest channel. Oh, they beat me on that one again. Oh, they've gone out wide. Another missed tackle from Nathan. As they slip and failed, but it's another forward pass. Play is stopped. I'm not sure why. It was in full flow, but the full time whistle goes. And Western Province celebrates. Jesse Creel, instrumental defensively through midfield. Very good on attack. He's a hard man to stop. But that ending was a bit weird. Just a little bit weird. Either way, you look at it though. Dominant display over Greek was. It was a bit of a weird performance. I forgot about my objectives for the most part. I was just trying to score tries, but all in all, we did grab five, and I think I did most of my objectives. I forgot about the drop goal. Completely forgot about the drop goal. Uh, cousin with the try. Cousin, not cousins. No S. Strange one. Cousin the try. Cousin the conversion. But for Western Province, Nathan Nichols, two tries. Sabino Sinatla, two tries. And Sergio Peterson, just one try. Dylan Lades, three out of five from the team. Not a bad night for Dylan. Uh, but all in all, we'll be hoping for better than that in future.
Well, the stats from halftime are not really much changed. We got a little bit more territory. We made a lot more handing errors. And we made a lot more tackles as well. So it did even up as the game wore on. Overall, though, it was a pretty one-sided affair, wasn't it? At 31 points to seven. How did Nathan play, though? Is the big, big question. Two tries. We knew about those. Two line breaks as well. It was good. Five tackles and three handing errors. That is not the best. We did miss some. Um, we surely missed tackles as well because we dived on the floor a couple of times. Uh, but all in all, though, you know, decent display. Pre-season. We're back. And we're into season two. Eat it up. Okay. So, yeah, like we thought, pretty successful opening pre-season game. Four out of five. Objectives complete. We didn't get a drop goal, which complete brain fade on my part. I completely forgot about it. We got 85 kicking meters. We didn't concede a penalty or make a proper handing error. Um, we, what else do we do? Running meters, we got 111 as well. And uh, yeah, kicking meters 85. So pretty good all round performance from Nathan Nichols there. We don't get the fail on the drop goals, which is cool. So we get all pluses throughout our stats. So you can see at the bottom there, we get 0.6 on fitness and on speed, 0.4 on acceleration, 1.3 on passing, woohoo! Finally, we get a little bit more on that stat there. Uh, what else do we get? 1.9 on kicking and goal kicking, 1.5 on catching, yes, that's good as well because we're terrible at passing, we're terrible at catching. And for a player in a pivotal position that primarily catches the ball and passes the ball, that is a bit of a concern. Mental up 1.8 as well. And discipline gets a little half a mark boost up there also. So overall, you can see Nathan now has popped up to a 66 overall rating, which is always nice to see. We're getting better and better already. We're only in preseason for season two. So unfortunately, we don't get match ratings for our performances in friendly. So straight to the next matchup. But um, to wrap up today's episode, we're going to look at the squad because there's been a few changes. A lot of players from last season, um, you guys would have known, you know, the guys like John Luke and that, um, well, he's still there, but some others. DeWitt is gone for one as well. So we see the season will be captain from Alistair Vermark, but you, you know the starting team, which looks like it is going to stay the same for our second preseason game. There is Ricardo. Oh, what a beautiful man he is. But on the bench, we've got Corey Smith, a New Zealand hooker. We've got Dimitri Everett, a Canadian uh, loose head prop. And then we've got, oh, goodness me, Nithling uh, Fuchs is another prop as well. Tight head, loose head prop. Uh, JD Schickling is there in the second row. Jeff Honick as well, the back row replacement. Christian Lelefano still rides the pine because Nathan is about. And then we've got Ruhan now from last season. And Joe Savage, a fullback also from New Zealand. On the reserves, yes, Salman Morat, who was a starting second rower last season, is out. So that's Van Ruin is coming to replace him in that second row. Lyle Hendricks is still there as well. There he is, the magic man himself, who is no worse um, than the guy who we've got now, uh, Martinez. There he is, they're both 75 rated. Uh, Sean looks a little bit better in some things, Martinez in others. But you know, I don't select the team anymore, so I got no say whatsoever. We've got uh, Quinzo Blus in there as well. Yako Kutsia, big number eight. Nami Zabi there. Edwin Vandermeerva in there. And David Muhusen. And that's it. That is our whole team. Th only 31 players. So that is it. The changes you can see there. There's a lot of names from last season who are gone. DeWitt's probably the big one. Um, who else has gone? Hendricks is still there. Nell is still there. Uh, a lot of the bench players have departed. But you can see we've got guys like Jeff Honick, uh, Joe Savage, who, and um, who was the other one? Everett and Smith. So a lot of new names in the uh, province team this season. But there we go. That is what you have to look forward to. Uh, competition info, just for those wondering. We do have four pre-season friendlies before the season kicks off proper against the Pumas in round number one. Next up, we do have those Pumas second, then the Sharks and the Cheetahs looking for revenge. Never forget that 33-10 in the final round robin game. Next episode though, we're at the Pumas. It's pre-season match as we look to try and continue our building of Nathan Nichols. Um, and that is it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in as per always. And I'll see you all next time for our second pre-season game. And you know, I don't know when we'll play internationals, but it looks like we are going to be selected for 
what is essentially the Six Nations. Cannot wait to represent England this time as well. Until then, though, thanks for watching, and as always, take care.